Rawson is one of the very first places in Canada that had cable television. Uh, they had an antenna up on the Red Mountain somewhere they could hook on, they could catch the uh, Spokane stations and they distributed it through a cable. And I don't think this was done very often in very, very few places before Rawson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, was I, that I, just a group of people? Yes. Kind of, maybe Carl Price was quite involved. Mm -hmm. he, in fact, he installed them. Mm -hmm. So that was the first uh, cable vision, as far as I know. And before that, was all antennas. Well, the Bank of Montreal, that was involved with the credit. The Bank of Montreal started here in 1896 or something. Mm -hmm. And one interesting thing is there's a safe, there used to be a big vault there. I think they've taken it out now. And everyone that worked there in the bank they used to scratch a name signature on it. And one signature was Robert Service, the poet. He was, he was he was in the bank there, I believe, around 1898. Wow. He, he as went. a customer, you mean, or working? No, as a working. Oh. And then, and then he uh, then he moved north and became famous, other, being a poet, but whatever it was. And uh, but the bank has been there for years, and and uh, it was built because of the mines around the town. And uh, that building is, I think, it has a date on it somewhere. I, I mm -hmm. runs in my mind, it's 1898, but I, I'm not sure. And uh, so we, Gwen's folks lived on the second floor, which was a, originally was the office, general office for the Leroy Mines, and that's why there's a big room which is used as, was used as a living room, dining room. And then there's there was a kitchen off one one office, and another office was used for a bathroom. And then then down the hallway there was about four bathroom bedrooms in a row, and they're all just small offices. One of them is used for the by the Chamber of Commerce now.